right, coming up next, marijuana and the effects it has on your health. Stay right here. Thanks for watching Afternoon Live. Marijuana, you hear it's an herb and that it's natural. Okay, but how safe is it? Here to share more, we welcome to the show the author of An Empowering Guide to Lung Cancer, Dr. Eric Presser is with us. Dr. Presser, welcome. Oh, thank you for having me. It's great to be here. Well, it's good that you're here now because uh, let's talk about it. 420, everybody's talking about 420. It's tomorrow. And um, uh, people tend to partake in marijuana and they think that it's safer that, to smoke that than to smoke cigarettes what do you think so as a minimally invasive chest surgeon let's be clear the only thing that anyone should be breathing in is clean air yes okay my patients that smoke cigarettes I tell them that there's a one in six chance that they will get lung cancer and there's uh, and they will live about 14 years less than non-smokers now we know the effects of smoking now when it comes to marijuana not a day goes by where I'm not asked exactly exactly what you are proposing Marijuana needs more uh, research, okay? okay? Okay. Which is why I'm glad, to be honest with you, that in my generation, uh, it seems that the public awareness and the public education, not just with cigarettes, mm -hmm. but also with marijuana, is coming to a head, if you will, because there are so many beneficial effects from marijuana. See, the problem is everybody pictures that guy sitting in the corner smoking a yeah, joint yeah. passing it around thinking that he's just doing nothing and not contributing to society right when if you actually research the uh, positive effects of marijuana okay mm -hmm. meaning there are drugs okay that need to be purified it needs to be regulated it needs to be taxed all this petty stuff about you know these these I think Oregon actually was the first state to decriminalize marijuana and there's so many more effects out there that we can concentrate on that are positive than people who are using it for recreation. Gotcha. And in my opinion, and I've read a lot of articles, if you're over the age of 21, mm -hmm. then why not regulate it so that you can go into a dispensary, just like you do when, you, when, you, go out to, when you go out to dinner, some, you don't have four shots of tequila every time. Right. You might right. have a glass of wine. And anyone who's a connoisseur of marijuana understands that that is the same concept. Now, going back to your original question of is it healthier, the, the verdict is out. But the problem with marijuana is that most of the time when people smoke it, mm -hmm. they're inhaling it deep, very deep, and they're holding their breath. Right. So there are toxins, just like in cigarettes, that are in marijuana. Even though it's natural and it's an herb, because that's what everybody natural. says. Even though it's natural, you're, it, the combustion mm -hmm. is still creating these toxic chemicals that are detrimental to lung health. Let me be clear. Okay. I'm not advocating that people go out and start smoking marijuana, mm -hmm. but if you're going to, I also get a question of vaping. Okay? Yes, that was going to be my next one because then they say, well, that's safer. So, Explain what vaping is for people who don't quite understand, please. So when you actually light up a marijuana joint or a pipe or whatnot, you're actually um, causing combustion, mm -hmm. okay? okay? And combustion means that you're actually causing, uh, taking a flame and lighting everything on fire. Right. When you use an e-cigarette or a Juul or you're using uh, vaping, mm -hmm. you're actually heating the substance that's inside of the container. So what that means is that when you actually look at um, micrographs of the uh, THC, okay, or the resin on the flower that you're smoking, because it's not being completely combusted, you actually get a cleaner hit, if you will. Uh -huh. You're not necessarily inhaling all of the toxic chemicals. It doesn't mean that it's safer. Got you. It doesn't mean that it's better. Mm -hmm. It just means that right now, there's no one that's going to tell you that it's better than cleaning, than breathing clean air. Sure. But it definitely has its benefits over smoking cigarettes. Okay. Okay. So now let's talk about the lungs themselves. Sure. What effect does marijuana have on the lungs if you're smoking it vaping it right. uh, I don't know I well if you're it doesn't matter if you're eating it that's a whole nother well, that's a whole nother thing but no but it's for a good the lungs. it's a good point you see now when my patients come to me and they ask me well I like to I like the effects of marijuana and without going into a whole marijuana special here sure there are difference in the concentrations between the THC and the other 
uh, chemicals that are in marijuana. Most people only know about THC and CBD, and there's about 85 of them. See, so that's already, that's in too many things. There's too many strands, too many ways, to, too many ways to make it or grow it. And but there's someone out there right now who is uh, suffering from cancer, for example, right. and they uh, need to eat and they are nauseated, and they know exactly what strain mm -hmm. is good for them to not make them high, but to just get them through the day. I understand. And that's why we need more research, in my opinion. I agree So to with answer you. your question, what does it do to your lungs? Well, anytime you breathe in any toxic chemicals, it's gonna cause inflammation, mm -hmm. which leads to uh, more mucus production, cough, and over time, there's no one who can sit there and not be commonsensical about this and say that smoking anything and putting it into your lungs is not going to be bad for right, you. Right. We just don't have the data right now to give you the, the statistics that I gave you before that the one in six smokers will get cancer because a lot of smokers also smoke marijuana. So, Dr. Presser, you know you're going to have to come back. I would love to come back. Because we need more education around this. There's just too much. But I appreciate what you shared today. And what no we're problem. going to do is have more information. The book, again, An Empowering Guide to Lung Cancer. We're going to have that for you, the information on our website at KATU.com. Thank you again. Oh, it's great. All right.